Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm back once again with another reveal by Devil Saviour. This time it's on their fifth constructor con, Scrapper, aka Landslip. Now they did recently announce a long haul which I didn't do coverage on my channel simply due to the fact that I didn't think that it was that much of a big deal considering that we have seen a long haul in the studio series and honestly upon looking at first images of long haul from Devil Saviour I've got to say that I wasn't really impressed. It definitely did look like as if it harkens back to the old Revenge of the Fallen Voyager, which has now been made obsolete to the Studio Series Voyager class figure. Scrapper, however, is a character that never got a mainline release in the Revenge of the Fallen toyline, and is still a Studio Series figure, which as of this video is yet to be announced officially by Hasbro, nor have we got images of that figure anywhere. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at some more images of this Devil Saviour landslip. Kicking things off with my personal favourite image released by Devil Saviour, here we have Scrapper deploying these type of harpoon weapons from his shoulders and I think that this looks absolutely awesome. We did in the Revenge of the Fallen movie very briefly see Scrapper actually have some type of harpoon weapon, however it did form out of his hand as opposed to his shoulders, but this is a really awesome looking concept and it's definitely something I could imagine this type of character to do. As you can see, once again, much like all of the other Devil Saviour figures, this figure has got some incredible sculpted in surface detailing. He really does look like a very complex character and we've gotten so many reveals by this company, it's about time that they actually released the product so we could have one in hand. Getting back to Scrapper though, as you can see, I think that he definitely does resemble what we see of the CGI model in Revenge of the Fallen. He does definitely look very, very detailed and I love the way that the vehicle mode components split and become the feet. I think that's a really clever engineering choice and once again, the harpoon weapon look absolutely incredible. Speaking of harpoon weapons, here we have a really cool image of this figure actually wielding the harpoon weapon slash grapple weapon that comes out of his hand, which is so movie accurate. As you can see, he has in fact got a really interesting looking head design and a very complicated looking chest. I'll be really eager to see what the transformation quality is like on these figures, as they definitely do look incredibly well engineered, especially in these first few prototype images. As you can see, the grapple weapon will be in fact made out of a real chain so we'll be in fact able to act how it would in the movie giving the figure an extra sense of realism. Taking a look at how the figure's hand will actually look once it transforms into Devastator, as you can see those grapple pieces do in fact become the claws that help Devastator up the pyramid, which once again is a fantastic harken back to the actual CGI model, and it's actually what we saw in the movie that is really nice to see Devil Saviour referencing the source material, and as you can see from this Constructicon hand, it looks really really detailed, this definitely does appear as if though it's going to be the masterpiece version of Devastator, and I find it absolutely incredible that 2019 and 2020 are going to be the years that we actually finally get fantastic Devastator figures. If you would have told me 10 years ago, back when the Revenge of the Fallen toy line was coming to a close, that in the next 10 years we would be getting a masterpiece grey Devastator, I probably would have laughed in your face as I would never have thought that any other company would have approached this design again, but I'm so glad to see that it is getting revisited and it's actually getting the justice it deserves as I'm actually a massive fan of of how the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator design looked. And finally, taking a look at what the figure will look like in his vehicle mode, once again, so far, Devil Saviour has highly impressed me with how these early prototypes look. They all look absolutely fantastic. Their robot modes, their vehicle modes, and their Devastator limb modes look absolutely incredible. And once again, I really cannot wait to see how engineered these figures are, as I definitely think that they're going to be some of the most complex, transformable figures on the market. As you can can see the vehicle mode does clean up incredibly well and you can actually pick out some really nice movie accurate detailing that definitely is reminiscent of the vehicle that was used in the Revenge of the Fallen movie. So those were my initial thoughts and breakdown analysis of the newly revealed Devil Saviour Scrapper. If you couldn't tell from my initial impressions already, once again, they've completely wowed me with how fantastic these figures look. They really do look as if though they could be a rival for the MPM movie toy line. Their robot modes, their vehicle modes, and their Devastator limb modes all look absolutely fantastic. It'll be fantastic to finally get some images of all of these characters in their final painted colours, as I do believe that the only one we've got official images for so far is Mixmaster, and he really does look as if though he has been painted incredibly well. 
well. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section what you think of this latest reveal by Devil Savior, and whether or not you'll be opting to go with the Devil Savior version of Devastator, the Studio Series version, or if you will in fact have both in your collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.